हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू एग्रीकल्चर अड्डा 24/7 एग्रीकल्चर अड्डा 24/7 पे आप सभी लोगों का स्वागत है तो गाइज आज है एफ एस एस आई सी बी टी टू का क्लास नाइनटीन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू समर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द प्रोसेसिंग प्रिजर्वेशन एंड पैकेटिंग एक्चुअली मोस्टली आज प्रिजर्वेशन और प्रोसेसिंग से रिलेटेड है आई वुड से प्रोसेसिंग और थोड़ा बहुत यहाँ पे आपका जो जनरल फूड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी और फूड केमिस्ट्री है ना उसके भी क्वेश्चन यहाँ पर आ जाएंगे क्योंकि थोड़े बहुत रिलेटेड चीजें हैं तो एक दो क्वेश्चन ऐसे भी होंगे ओके सो लेट्स गो हेड एंड स्टार्ट द सेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन गाइज इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल आप अगर पहली बार इस चैनल पे आए हैं एंड यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एफ एस एस ए आई सी बी टी टू और टी एस पी एस सी तेलंगाना स्टेट पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन फूड सेफ्टी ऑफिसर और एनी स्टेट फूड सेफ्टी ऑफिसर देन मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब टू एग्रीकल्चर अड्डा ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन फॉर योर प्रिपेरेशन एंड डू शेयर एंड लाइक द सेशन इफ इट्स हेल्पफुल फॉर यू ओके नेक्स्ट लेट्स गो अहेड सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर इज प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फेनॉल्स इन प्लांट टिश्यूज टू ऑर्थोक्विनोज इज बाय डैश ठीक है सो बेसिकली होता क्या है कि जो आपके फेनॉल कंपाउंड्स होते हैं प्लांट टिश्यूज में जब वो ऑक्सीडेशन के उनका ऑक्सीडेशन होता है ओके एंड दे गेट कन्वर्टेड टू ऑर्थोक्विनोन्स ओके सो वॉट इज दैट प्रोसेस नोन एज ओके वॉट इज द प्रोडक्ट दैट यू कैन से फेनोलेजेस पेरोक्सीडेजेस पॉलीफेनल ऑक्सीडेजेस ऑल ऑफ द एवर्ब या फिर नन ऑफ द एवर्ब आई गेस ऑलरेडी आप लोग पढ़ चुके हो गए फूड केमिस्ट्री में ये पोर्शन प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फेनॉल्स इन प्लांट टिश्यूज टू ऑर्थोक्विन इज बाय डैश सो दिव्या दिव्या सिंह सी इट इज पॉलीफेनॉल ऑक्सीडेजेस एक्चुअली फेनोलेजेस पेरोक्सीडेजेस एज वेल एज पॉलीफेनॉल ऑक्सीडेजेस ओके तीनों यहाँ पे सही होगा ओके okay? इन ती, तीनों ही जो है यहाँ पे ऑक्सीडेशन जो होता है फेनॉल कंपाउंड्स का एंड ऑर्थोक्विनोजेस प्रोड्यूस होते हैं उसके प्रोडक्ट हैं ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फेनॉल्स इन प्लांट टिश्यूज टू ऑर्थोक्विनोस कैन बी डन बाय फेनोलेजेस पेरोक्सीडेजेस एंड पॉलीफेनॉल ऑक्सीडेजेस सो ऑल ऑफ द एव ओके हेलो जय वेलकम टू द सेशन नेक्स्ट नंबर टू सॉफ्टनिंग ऑफ प्लांट टिश्यूज ड्यूरिंग राइपनिंग इज ड्यू टू डैश ओके सो वेन एवर यू नो अ फ्रूट लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैंगो ओके सो वेन एवर अ फ्रूट राइपेंस द प्लांट टिश्यूज स्टार्ट सॉफ्टनिंग इन कंपेरिजन टू द रॉ फॉर्म राइट सो वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज दिस प्रोसेस नोन एज एसाइलेशन डिमेथिलेशन डिमिथिलाइशन एंड मिथिलेशन ऑक्सीडेशन और रिडक्शन एसिलेशन नो नॉट एसोलेशन ओके सो पहले का आंसर है कमॉन नंबर टू वट इज द आंसर फॉर द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन सो गाइज वेन एवर अ प्लांट और अ फ्रूट यू नो इट राइट पेंस ओके सो द टिश्यूज बिकम सॉफ्ट एंड दिस इज ड्यू टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ डी मिथलेशन ओके वट इज द प्रोसेस दिस इज नोन एज डी मिथलेशन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम वॉचिंग योर क्लास वेलकम बैक टू द सेशन जया ओके नेक्स्ट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अ बिट अबाउट दिस पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट डिमिथलेशन ऑफ पेक्टिक सब्सटेंसेस ना पेक्टिक सब्सटेंसेस आर द सब्सटेंसेस दैट आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अ फॉर्म नेचर ठीक है जो ठोस बन के रहता है ना जो फॉर्म बन के रहता है दैट इज ड्यू टू दीज पेक्टिक सब्सटेंसेस ओके सो पेक्टिक सब्सटेंसेस इन प्लांट टिश्यूज लीडिंग टू द सॉफ्टनिंग ऑफ प्लांट टिश्यूज ड्यूरिंग राइपनिंग एंड फॉर्मिंग ऑफ प्लांट टिश्यूज ड्यूरिंग प्रोसेसिंग ओके गॉड इट नेक्स्ट नंबर थ्री डैश इज द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉज ऑफ फूड डिटोरियोरेशन सो देर आर सम ऑप्शन हियर देर एंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉज ऑफ फूड डिटोरियोरेशन एंजाइमेटिक स्पॉयल हैंडलिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन पैकिंग और नन ऑफ द एव डैश इज द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉज ऑफ फूड डिटोरियोरेशन हेलो विनोद वेलकम टू द सेशन so you are from tamil nadu i guess you are uh, preparing for the tamil nadu food safety officer or the fssi cbt2 yeah so the answer is yes that is enzymatic spoilage okay so what exactly is enzymatic spoilage now enzymatic spoilage is considered one of the greatest uh, uh, you know cause of food deterioration or the food spoilage okay so what exactly happen is they are responsible for certain undesirable and desirable changes okay so uh, now what exactly is this undesirable and desirable changes okay you might have already studied this in food chemistry let me just give you a brief explanation so there are certain enzyme 
lengths which we use to bring some desirable changes that means the changes that we need to see in some plants it might be fruit it might be vegetables anything and there are some certain en enzymes which bring about undesirable changes that means we don't want that kind of changes for example forced ripening of the plant is a desirable change that we uh, generally get due to en enzymatic action and these enzymes can be uh, you know incorporated from the external environment okay uh, but there are certain enzymatic actions okay which leads to spoilers of the plant tissues or the uh, products so obviously it br uh, it brings some undesirable uh, changes also okay next both exams okay that's great all the best number 4 brown pigments in enzymatic browning is known as dash okay so whenever you see a browning of the food products okay so in that case the brown pigments that are formed due to this enzymatic browning that is known as dash melanin serotonin dopamine amylin or none of the above and this is relatively easy okay browning of the pigments you might have seen in so many fruits basically the uh, inner uh, portion of the fruit or the vegetables uh, uh, develop a brown uh, you know browny uh, color okay so what yes very good a melanin is the right answer very good guys okay next orthogonoses rapidly polymerize to form brown pigments known as melanin leading to enzymatic browning okay so i guess most of these questions are uh, you know related to your food chemistry portions and you might have studied this okay uh, so the uh, food pro when you are studying food processing generally your food chemistry and food processing gets related because when you will study about these things then only you will be able to know what to do in order to preserve them or in order to stop them from worsening okay okay next factors responsible for controlling enzymatic activity is or are dash what are the different factors that are generally responsible for controlling the enzymatic activity temperature water activity ph plant chemicals all of the above now i am not talking about restricting rather i am talking about the factors that control that determines the enzymatic activity that means it can accelerate it ac uh, or it can be restricted okay so all of you are saying e that e temperature water activity ph plant chemicals each and every thing is a factor which is responsible for controlling the enzymatic activities okay factors responsible for controlling enzymatic activities are temperature water activity ph and chemicals which can inhibit or enhance the enzymatic enzyme activity okay next in food all enzymes are inactivated at dash degree celsius so what is that temperature okay at which all the enzymes present in a food gets deactivated or you can say that they get inhibited answer guys yes okay so in food all these enzymes are activated at a temperature of 80 degree celsius so a, at, at a temperature of 80 degree celsius all these enzymes generally gets deactivated or you can say they get inhibited okay all enzymes are inactivated at 80 degree celsius enzymes can be permanently inactivated by heat okay so they can be permanently inactivated that means they won't get activated again okay it can be done with the help of heat number seven many insects cannot reproduce satisfactorily unless the moisture content of their food is greater than dash percent okay so generally there are so many insects who cannot reproduce satisfactorily okay uh, if that moisture uh, content is not good so why are we studying about insect because in storage generally what happens is there are a lot of insect storage pests that infect the food crops so a bit knowledge about the insects of the about in fact this storage insects is uh, preferable okay so 4 5 7 9 11 so i am i am asking about the moisture content answer guys so in this case the moisture percent should be somewhere around 11 percent okay so many insects cannot reproduce satisfactorily unless the moisture content of their food is greater than 11 percent that's why you might have heard that while storing a particular food product the moisture percentage is generally uh, decreased okay if it is uh, for long term storage it the moisture percentage can be kept at something around six percent or even seven percent okay next 
so many insects cannot reproduce satisfactorily satisfactory unless the moisture content of their food is greater than 11% major chemical changes which occur during the processing and storage of fruits and vegetables is or are dash lipid oxidation non enzymatic browning detoxification both a and b or none of these question is comparatively easy major chemical changes which occur during the processing and storage of fruits and vegetables is or are dash oh, thank you so much jaya so the uh, these kind of uh, you know trust uh, really motivates us also thank you so much good very good okay so the right answer is obviously d that a and b now detoxification has no relation with the processing and storage of fruits and vegetables okay next two major chemical changes which occur during the processing and storage of fruits and vegetables are number 1 lipid oxidation and number 2 is the non enzymatic browning which deteriorates the sensory quality that means the smell or the texture okay or even the feel of the food okay or even the color and flavor okay next number 9 lipid oxidation is influenced by dash the lipid oxidation the process of lipid oxidation is generally influenced by what light and oxygen high temperature presence of iron and copper water activity or all of the above lipid oxygen uh, oxidation is influenced by dash thank you so much jaya answer guys yes okay so the lipid oxidation is generally influenced by i'm getting a e so generally either you are saying a or either you are saying e all of the above but if i'll say the lipid oxidation lipids means what is the fat right so whenever all of the above is uh, given at any uh, in any question okay so what you need to see is that let's see okay water activity is fine so fat oxidation of fat is generally not affected by affected by light oxygen or high temperature okay so this is a common sense okay if you will put uh, let's say I, i'll give you a simple example go to your balcony and put a drop of ghee will it get affected by light oxygen or high temperature it won't be okay so basically uh, especially lipid oxidation okay the oxidation of the lipid that may if 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 this uh, uh, if lipid oxidation would have been uh, affected by the high temperature then all the ghee and the fat the oils would get rancid in summer season okay so the answer is yes it's water activity is the right answer these two are out of the question if you don't know about iron and copper okay and now iron and copper don't affect lipid oxidation but in case you don't know you are a bit skeptical about the uh, presence of iron and copper in uh, lipids okay so light oxygen and high temperature they don't affect the lipid process of lipid oxidation only the water activity fats get spoiled if the moisture content is high now let me give you a simple example okay uh in india this practice is uh, generally not uh, you know th these kind of foods are generally not preferred but uh, let me tell you in foreign countries also in western countries whenever they eat vegetarian foods they also add animal sto stock i mean animal meat stock or uh, they add dried fat okay now the dried fat of the pork meat okay or maybe the buffalo meat okay that is added now that gives a, that enhances the flavors and that, gi that gives a added taste to the uh, food okay so if again another thing that light and oxygen cannot exactly um, you know lead to oxidation of the lipids okay so the right answer is water activity yes water activity will lead to the uh, spoilage of uh, fat tissues okay uh, even in case of meat also uh, the fatty meats generally tend to uh, spoil faster in comparison to lean meat what is lean meat lean meat is something which has a lower amount of fat content or the fat has been trimmed off the meat okay but uh, generally uh, for example if i'll give you uh, if i'll give you an example then let's take the case of poultry that is chicken okay so the chicken breast contains very low amount of fat that is what we call the lean 
meat or the lean uh, or the high uh, protein meat and uh, the thigh portion or the leg portion or the wings portion of the uh, chicken generally uh, has a higher amount of fat okay so they they are not known as a lean uh, meat portion okay so this is the difference that thigh portion or the leg portion will get deteriorated much faster in comparison to the chicken breast portion okay got it next Lipid oxidation is influenced by light, oxygen, high temperature and the presence of iron and copper and water activity. Okay. So, lipid oxidation is not influenced by, okay. it is influenced by water activity. Next, malad reaction occurs due to the reactions between dash. Now, malad reaction generally occurs due to the reaction between what? Reducing sugars, amino acids, presence of heat, all of the above and none of the above. Answer. Malad reaction. The right answer here is D that is all of the word Malad reaction. What exactly is Malad reaction? Let us take a look. Malad reaction occurs due to reactions between reducing sugars and amino acids in the presence of heat. So, basically protein that is amino acids, then you have sugar, then you have heat. Okay. So, whenever these three things will be com com uh, combined, we can call it as Malad reaction. Okay. And it results in the formation of a black brown insoluble pigment. Okay. So, this is used in a uh, color, flavor or aroma of the break a baked bread so generally it gives a, a smoky kind of uh, you know a taste okay <coughs> next caramelization of sugar occurs in pre, uh, occurs in the presence of dash in the food okay so what are the factors due to which caramelization occurs high heat low moisture content acids both a and b or none of the above caramelization of sugar occurs in presence of dash in the food what is the right answer answer guys yes okay so caramelization of sugars is due to both a and b that is high heat and low moisture content you cannot caramelize sugar in the presence of water bhai aapne dekha bhi hoga na kheer banate waqt aapne dekha hoga sabji banate waqt dekha hoga theek hai halka sa tel dalte hain aur tel mein ghee dalte hain aur ghee mein bahut dher sara sugar dalte hain aur usko fir usi heat mein cook karte hain water is not added ek bar aap water add kar doge if you will add water then it will just turn into a sugar syrup uh, um, instead of caramelization okay if you want to caramelize the sugar okay as we also call caramelization of onion okay so generally with a low amount of fat generally caramelization is done and why caramelization is done especially that color is preferred in some of the uh, foods due to which that car caramelization is the for example custard pudding okay even the kheer sometimes looks brown that is due to the caramelization of sugar got it uh, sonderia i also repeated it in english okay so uh, i guess you got it already caramelization of sugars occur in the presence of high heat and low moisture content in the food next physical factors includes dash which can cause food spoilage okay so what are the different physical factors that can cause food spoilage its temperature moisture pressure all of the above or none of the above answer physical factors includes dash which can cause spoilage you are welcome D. So, Nivedita is saying D, Saurav is saying D, all of the above, temperature, moisture, pressure and the right answer is yes. Physical factors can include temperature, moisture or pressure which can cause food spoilers. Okay. Anything, high moisture content, high temperature okay, and obviously high pressure can also deteriorate the food. Okay. So, the answer is yes, all of these. Next. Physical factors such as temperature, moisture and pressure can cause food spoilers. Physiochemical reactions, so basically a combination of the physical reactions and the chemical reactions are caused by dash of fruits and vegetables during storage, handling and transportation which results in food deterioration. So, which process of fruits generally lead to some uh, change in physiochemical reactions okay, that leads to food deterioration? Freezing, burning, drying, bruising or all of the above. Bruise, do you know? What, what exactly is bruise? Basically, whenever, uh, for example, uh, 
you know the surface of the fruit gets scratched or it falls down that causes bruise all of them were deep bruising some are saying deep bruising some are saying a freezing some are saying all of them were the right answer is all of them were okay T freezing it for a high temperature you can you can also try this at home freeze any fruit any fru any fruit means yeah apple will do freeze fr uh, the apple for 2 to 3 days take it out keep it outside and you'll see that after some time it will deteriorate faster okay burning obviously okay if it burn or burn the food then also it will deteriorate the quality of the food then drying over drying yes it leads to over drying and uh, uh, not drying it sufficiently also causes the food to deteriorate bruising obviously it does in especially in fruits and vegetables okay so it is all of the above okay so there are lot of physiochemical reactions that are caused by freezing burning drying and bruising of fruits and vegetables during storage handling transportation which results in food deterioration next number 14 microbiological change of nutritional quality related changes in food includes dash okay so if there is any kind of microbiological change of nutritional quality that is related to the changes in food that and what are the are the different types of these changes okay growth or presence of toxicogenics in ineffective uh, in infective microorganisms hydrolytic reactions catalyzed by lipases and proteases i guess you know what is lipases and proteases come on uh lipases and proteases guys tell uh, lipoxygen activity both a and b answer uh jay right now pdf files are not available for any of these classes answer guys e both a and b good okay so growth or presence of toxicogenic substances as well as infective microorganisms will lead to microbial changes in the uh, nutrition or which will lead uh, which will ultimately lead to the change in nutritional quality okay clear next enzymatic change of nutritional quality related changes in food includes dash okay so if i uh, just uh, this uh, i just repeated this question sorry so uh, we, we we still have questions okay don't worry okay uh, this is not the end of the session so guys we have the complete batch for fssi cfso to we have the mock batch this mock pack practice batch is starting from 24th of august now in this batch in this batch you will get mock just like your exam like 80 questions so each day you will be getting 80 questions from all the faculties okay so this will just be like a test or mock pra uh, practice of your uh, exam pattern okay so you can go ahead and enroll in this this batch will start from 24th of august as you can see okay so there will be a poll system in the class in which you will answer it okay and at the end we will be discussing all the answers all the answers and how many you got uh, uh, correct and how many were uh, wrong uh, wrong wrong okay and also you can also uh, enroll in the mains batch okay that is the fssi cfso and to so this batch is available at a price of 2299 in the application is 2199 this is available at a price of 1839 in the application this is somewhere around uh, 1760 rupees okay so you can use the code y291 to enroll in any of these batches chemical change of nutritional quality yeah chemical change of nutritional quality related changes in food includes dash okay so that was physiochemical now here we have a chemical change of the nutritional quality and what are the different factors that uh, is related to the chemical change oxidative rancidity non enzymatic browning nutrient losses lipogenesis activity or a b and c so what is the duration of the mock batch uh, it will be according to your exam for example uh, if there are 80 questions then you will get somewhere around let's say for each question you will get 1 uh, and 1/2 minutes so all the three classes combined will have a mock time of somewhere around uh, let's say for 80 question it will be 120 to 150 minutes and then you will get uh, another uh, let's say 1 hour of discussion classes and i'm talking about combined duration so each day uh, you won't be wasting much time okay so each class will be something uh, so something be around 45 minutes to 60 minutes okay 45 minutes i guess will be more than enough that will actually depend on the first class okay we will see how much duration the first class is yes talking about the mock okay you will be getting 1.5 minutes for each question so basically you will get 1 minute to read the question and you will get uh, 30 seconds to attempt the poll that is a b c or d 
<coughs> a, B and C very good. So, the answer is E, A, B and C. Storage of foods leads to deterioration in sensory qualities and some of these chemical uh, reactions also lead to change in the nutritional quality. Number 17, salmonellosis due to consumption of DAS contaminated food. Salmonellosis is generally seen due to consumption of uh, what kind of food? Salmonella, uh, food that is contaminated with salmonella species, lactobacillus, azadidictin, all of the above or none of the above. How many mocks will be there? There will be roughly 10 to 12 mocks. Okay, uh, I'll tell you the exact number soon. Okay, it will be 10 to 12 mocks most probably. It will be something between 10 to 15 mocks. Salmonellosis due to the consumption of DAS contaminated food. Yes, okay. So, it is due to the contamination of salmonella species in the food. Salmonellosis due to consumption of salmonella species contaminated food. Now, what is salmonella? A bacteria that can reduce a diarrhea illness typically caused by contaminated food. Also caused by contact with infected animals. It runs its course in a few days. So, basically the salmonella, okay. Now, what does this mean? This means that the salmon due to the salmonella infection, okay. So, whatever uh, physical changes you see in your body that generally happen for some days okay what will be the timing of the mock series it will be good if it's evening time uh, it will be evening time because uh, yeah most probably it will be, it, it won't be in the morning okay it won't be in the after evening means not late evening it will be some somewhere around you know like 4 p.m 5 p.m or 6 p.m this types okay next Number 18, I guess Hina ma'am and Minakshi ma'am's class will be after 6 p.m. because they are pretty much occupied uh, the whole day, okay. Uh, yeah, but my class can be somewhere around, I guess, 4 p.m., okay. DAS causes food poisoning. What causes food poisoning? Staphylococcus aureus, Clostridium botulinum, Lactobacillus, both A and B or none of the above. DAS causes food poisoning. D, both A and B, very good. So, Staphylococcus aureus as well as Clostridium botulinum. Lactobacillus obviously does not cause food poisoning, okay. So, Staphylococcus aureus and Clostridium botulinus causes, causes food poisoning and this is how they look under a microscope. Fresh milk has a slightly DAS order and flavor. Sweet is sour, bitter, all of the above or none of the above. No, no, schedule lavina change hoga, do not worry, okay. Uh, wo actually jo schedule laga hai usme wo change hoga timings thoda thoda main aapko jab timing confirm ho jayega to main aapko bata dunga theek hai kab hoga afternoon mein hoga ya evening mein hoga theek hai main aapko bata dunga jab bhi hoga aapke class ke sath uh, coincide nahi hoga matlab aisa nahi hoga ki kisi teacher ka class chal raha hai and dusre teacher ka mock chalega us time pe both uh, nahi okay a a and d mein confusion hai all of the above guys how come fresh milk will have a sour and bitter bitter taste I am not talking about curd, I am talking about fresh milk. Even uh, fresh milk has a halka sa sweetest uh, flavor and also a sweetest kind of smell. Okay, next. Fresh milk has a slightly sweetest order and flavor. While buying meat is selected on the basis of dash. While buying meat of any kind, it is selected on the basis of dash. Conformation or form, finish, quality, all of the above or none of the above. Now, these are some of the easy questions. You will, you will get, uh, uh, Lavi, you will get one uh, All India mock of FSSI CBT 2, okay. We will be plan, we are already planning that, but that will be before your exam, not now, okay. It will be in the month of September. You will be getting one All India mock that is, that has already been planned and we are working on it. Yes, okay. So, 20 D is the right answer, okay, all of the above. So, con confirmation of the form of the meat, okay, then obviously finish and quality, okay. Next. Meat is selected on the basis of conformation or form, finish and quality. So, it is my request, please start like classes, uh, like this classes in Tamil Nadu because lot of, uh, guys, uh, after FSS AI CBT 2 is over, we will be having regular classes for any state food safety exam, any state food safety exam, okay. 
so uh, we won't be stopping food science classes on uh, agriculture at the 24/7 we basically now this uh, channel will be completely focused because now there are selections okay and uh, we are even more confident about uh, what we are teaching and we are more confident on you people also okay so you will be having daily classes for food science okay like this each one class of one faculty every day this is now a regular schedule okay even after fssi cbt2 you can attend these classes for the state food safety officer okay the, uh, while uh, going for the state food safety officer will be will be focusing on food chemistry microbiology and processing okay and uh, then apart from that the extra subjects that will be asked for example in telangana they have asked the telangana gkgs public health and sanitation services etc meat is selected on the basis of confirmation or form finish and also the quality of the meat 21 selection criteria for meat includes dash uh, meat should be bought from a clean and hygienic shop and should be free from bad odor meat should be refrigerated after slaughter until it is sold or preserved slime on the surface of meat in indicates deterioration all of the above or none of the above what are the different selection criteria for the meat answer uh, saurav please join the class at uh, 2 pm today okay i'll make sure that you join the telegram channel okay please join the class at 2 pm today d that is all of the above yes all of these factors can be considered as a uh, can be consider uh, are the criteria for the selection of meat meat should be bought from a clean and hygienic shop and we should be free from bad odor meat should be refrigerated after slaughter until it is sold or preserved slime on the surface of the meat indicates deterioration meat should have deep red color with white or creamy fat very dark brown or green color and yellow fat at the signs of poor quality meat okay that means the fat has deteriorated when the meat is greenish and smells bad it is of poor quality and not safe for consumption got it next in poultry edible portion is only about dash percent of the live weight for example if we'll take a poultry bird and that it will weigh something around 1 kg so what is the actual uh, weight of the edible portion 55% 30% 70% 80% or 90% hmm answer yes okay uh, so you people are a bit confused between c and d okay the right answer is a it's 55% so whenever we are talking about guys edible portion now i know what you people might have thinking when you said 70 or 80 you must have considered only feathers right you must have considered only removing the feathers and feathers right no okay see now whenever the feathers will be removed it won't be just 20% rather the for example the claws okay uh, the head portion there are so many portion the intestines these are all removed okay these are generally not treated as edible portion although some people consume these portions but whenever uh, you talk about the actual edible portion in books the edible portion is only 55% okay topic is processing abhishek okay processing and preservation Uh, we are not we don't have any packaging questions today in poultry there is a relatively high proportion of waste from live weight to edible portion edible portion is only about 55% of live weight okay next good quality poultry meat is dash theek hai jo good quality poultry meat hai wo kaise hota hai it should be full fleshed meaty legs and breasts good layer of fat all of the above or none of the above answer guys and uh, if you like the session please go ahead uh, sorry uh, yeah please go ahead uh, uh, and share and like the session <coughs> so the right answer here is good quality poultry meat nivedita and saurav are saying d sondarya is also saying d lavina is also saying d the right answer is d yes it should be full fleshed it should be uh, it should have meaty legs so basically this is generally seen okay this is generally what it is considered for example if there is a, a meat then the amount of meat obviously uh, tells about the quality of the meat okay next good quality of poultry uh, fleshed meaty legs and breasts and has a good layer of fat the skin is smooth without tears and discoloration of pin feathers 
वाइल परचेजिंग फिश डैश थिंग्स शुड बी कंसिडर्ड रेफ्रिजरेटेड और स्टोर्ड इन द आइस हैव नो ऑर्डर इट शुड बी रैप्ड इन वाटर प्रूफ पैकेजिंग मटीरियल ऑल ऑफ द एव और नन ऑफ द एव इन केस ऑफ फिश now there are something for example poultry fish okay you have to study about their processing how they can be stored how they can be preserved how they are generally processed how they are cleaned okay processing is all about cleaning them okay and separating the different parts also okay so d you are saying and obviously this is the right answer refrigerated or stored in the ice it should have no odd order it should be wrapped in waterproof packaging materials okay stale fish would float in the water so avoid them so first point that you need to remember be sure to purchase fish which have been refrigerated or stored on ice and not slippery or slimy to touch frozen fish should be frozen solid when purchased and should have no order it should be wrapped in waterproof packaging material it should be kept frozen until use 25 prevention or delay of microbial decomposition brought out by dash okay if there is any prevention or delay of microbial decomposition then what exactly gen what exactly happens okay keeping out microorganisms or asepsis basically uh, maintaining aseptic condition removal of microorganisms example by washing or filtration technique etc hindering the growth and activity of microorganisms killing microorganisms by heat or, uh, and irradiation or all of the above prevention or delay of microbial decomposition how can you prevent yes very good so before the timer stops you people have already answered the question very good e is the right answer decomposition is the breaking up of organic matter chiefly protein but also fats and carbohydrates so the thing that in food exactly we are more considered about the protein in comparison to fats and carbohydrates by the action of bacteria molds and yeast which split the meat up into a number of chemical substances many of which are gaseous and foul smelling okay so this is the end of the class guys you have the mains batch you have the mock practice batch which is actually very important for fss ai and you have the telangana state public service commission food safety officer batch let me just show you how to enroll so you need to open adda247.com and just search uh, better to download the application and search fss ai even tspsc fso students you can search fss ai see you will see three batches here one is your mock practice mock practice batch this will be completely like your exam one is the tspsc food safety officer batch here is the fss ai cfso and to cbt2 mains batch okay so let's talk about this the mock practice batch first so there will be mocks okay and it will be uh, the three faculties will be dividing the number of questions according to their portions and they will be taking the mocks exactly like the pattern 80 questions uh multiple choice multiple answers multiple choice uh, single answers okay then you have double fill in the blanks single fill in the blanks comprehensive question as well as matches the following okay you can use the code y291 here to get the maximum discount that is 1839 here it will be something around 1760 in the application if you are from telangana state and you are uh, going to apply for the tspsc food safety officer you can enroll in this batch classes are generally bilingual as you can see in youtube also you will get uh, answer a uh, classes both in hindi and english so i don't think it will be a problem for you okay so you can use the code y291 here and this batch will cost you 2759 in the application this will cost you something around 2639 okay and uh, you also have the fss ai cbt2 mains batch so if you are still uh, behind then you can go ahead and uh, enroll in this the classes uh, right now uh, my class is at uh, 2 pm so you can enroll in this and join in the class minakshi ma'am's class is at 3 pm and uh, hina ma'am generally takes class in the morning that is 9 am so the uh, price of the batch here is 2299 in the application is 2199 okay uh yes there will be one all india mock before cbt2 sir one more question like there are 10 mock allotted to each subject in the schedule will that also be changing uh i didn't get it uh, let me tell you how this will happen basically there will be uh, let's say uh, let's take an example that there are 10 mocks okay so if there are 10 mocks here if there are 10 mocks then one mock will have 80 questions just exactly like your exam pattern mcqs multiple answers single answers fill in the blanks double blank single blank match the following and comprehensive okay 
all this pattern will be there there will be 80 question let's say in the first mock me minakshi ma'am and hina ma'am okay so there will be 80 question let's say i'll be taking up 30 question from my subject minakshi ma'am will be taking up 20 question and hina ma'am will be taking up 20 question uh, 30 question okay so this is how 80 questions are divided next mock second mock i'll be taking up 20 question minakshi ma'am 30 hina ma'am 30 in the third mock i'll be taking up 30 question minakshi ma'am uh, 30 and hina ma'am 20 like this you will get 10 mocks in almost 12 days okay so this uh, is a mock practice batch then you that you can enroll into none of this question will be from youtube or anywhere these questions will be specifically framed according to your mock pattern you will get proper timing you will get proper poll for answering the questions also okay you will be allotted one minute or let's say 1.5 minute to read the question and you will be allotted uh, approximately 30 seconds to answer the poll that is a b c and d okay so this is how you will be getting your uh, mock practice batch and uh, when we'll start getting more number of yt classes La uh, lavi singh there will be no more yt classes Cla yt classes will be as it is this will be at there will be only one yt class at 12 pm okay so exactly your faculties are because you have one exam to deal with okay or you might have two exams to deal with but your faculties have more than four to five exams to deal, deal with okay so we have to give our time equally in each for each and every exam so there won't be any more yt classes it will be the same that is 12 pm each and every day okay so let's meet in the next class guys till then take care and don't forget to subscribe to agriculture under 24 7 and if you are planning to enroll in any of the batches that is fss ai cbt2 fss ai mock batch or tspsc fso okay or soon after the fssi cbt2 we are going to bring a food safety officer foundation batch for all the students so you can enroll in those and you can while enrolling you can use the code 29 y291 so let's meet in the next class till then take care and bye bye